So there's been a couple times in my career where I've had people say, can we change the lighting? Not on set, but afterwards. I know that they mean, can we change the color? But I always thought it was a little funny to word it like that because I'm like, how... But now, in DaVinci Resolve, we can kind of change the lighting. Let's say we wanted to adjust the background without touching me, bring up this side of my face just a little bit, even it out a little bit, color from one side, bring down the exposure on my fill side, give a little more shape. When this first came out, I didn't love it, but the depth map changed everything. So we'll take a closer look. I'll show you how to do some of this. I have my grade here in a compound node. I shot this very hot just because I wanted to bring it down. I don't usually do that, but I have been experimenting with that lately. I am going to search for relight and add it before my grade. We have three options here, directional, point source, and spotlight. Let's just start with point source. We'll just drag this around, get kind of an idea of where it's gonna touch my face. And it is touching the wall, but if we were to bring up this exposure here, I don't really want it to hit the wall. While this is not horrible, we will get it so it doesn't touch the wall. I'm gonna start with brightening up this side of my face so that there's more of a contrast ratio here. And I'm kind of just gonna eyeball it because we're about to change it to get it off the back wall. I'm gonna search for depth map and I'm just gonna add it. I'm gonna connect it to here and I am going to hit Shift H to highlight it and get it so that it's just touching me. And to do that, I'm going to adjust the map levels and I'm gonna bring the far limit over the near limit in and I'm gonna go to post process I'm going to turn it all the way up, turn off the highlight, and I will drag this output into the first blue. So we have our original change here that's affecting this, and with the depth map, it is only on my face. So the depth map is taking it off the wall, and the relight is shaping kind of in a 3D space. So now we have a brighter area here only on me. I found that it kind of looked nicer to darken my fill side a little bit little darker here and it's not affecting anywhere over here without the depth map we can see that that is doing a lot more than what we want we have a warmer light here so let's add a little bit of warmth and just see what that looks like so it's a little bit warmer if you had a scene that was maybe a little more dynamic than this maybe you had a blue light here and it's kind of touching this side of my face so maybe i'll close it in a little and we have this blue here which does actually look like there is blue light falling on me. That's the point source. Let's swap over to directional and we can kind of move things around here and we have the directional and we can take a look at spotlight if we want. I think the point source is looking pretty good and you get the picture, you can experiment from there. Let's reset. Now we just have our graded clip and let's say we want to adjust this background a little bit. I am going to just grab a depth map and adjust our map and I'll turn on the post-processing and you can really go deep in these but I am not going to right now and I will put this to faster, shift H to turn it off. I will put the output into the alpha input here. We want to invert this and I can adjust our background. So maybe there. That is pretty incredible. I feel like I will use this often. Just another tool to be able to adjust your image and let's just see what it looks like if we're pushing the colors around. I mean, this almost looks like I've lit it like that. It's uh, almost midnight. I'm fading a little bit, but pretty cool. Even like something there is cool. So we go from this to this. This is a better image. Maybe the color adjustment I made isn't exactly right. Maybe there. If I wanted to bring myself down a little bit, I could do it in my grade, but I'll just go after this and bring me down touch and it kind of brings everything down. So that's looking pretty nice. So these new tools, pretty good. I think that this is a nice final image. Little interesting piece of the software that could be pretty useful. Subtle changes between the background and an interview subject. I can imagine that this will continue to get better and better. DaVinci Resolve has the magic mask also, which is pretty great. These three tools, Relight, Depth Map, and Magic Mask, split apart your image in a way so that you can work with different layers of it in uh, a pretty cool way. And you can make subtle changes to your image that were a little harder to do a couple years ago. Try it out. 
let me know. Join my Discord. Should be a pretty fun place once it grows a little bit. All right, peace.